So when we're doing fluids work inside of Maya, we work with a voxelized space. So if we begin playing this back, you'll see that my base resolution is set very low. So we're not really capturing the detail of all those interactions and all the collisions that you'd expect for this simulation. So to get around that, we start to increase the resolution of the voxelized space. The problem with this is when you're computing this on the CPU, this gets kind of slow. So it's not very interactive. The frame rate you can see down here has dropped down to something like one frame a second. And this is just with a resolution set to, to a value of 50. So what we can do now is we can actually dump that simulation off to be calculated on the GPU, which is great using OpenCL. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that up really quickly. We'll pump this resolution up to something like 130, which would get really, really slow if we kept this on the GPU. And we're just going to export this out. So we'll export it out as a simple FBX file. We'll overwrite that one and we'll just import it back in. So by doing this on the import end now, instead of being calculated on the CPU, it's going to go to the AMD card to be calculated on the GPU. So let's go ahead and hide that original fluid object. We really don't need to see that anymore. And if we play this back, you can see that our frame right now has gotten drastically faster. It's up to 10 frames a second at a resolution of 120. So if we kept this on the GPU, it's going to be very fast. If we push this back to the CPU and went back to your traditional solve, that frame rate would drop down to under a frame a second. So this is really the power of computing things like fluids on the GPU using OpenCL. And you know the AMD cards are doing a great job on, on pushing this really heavy math around.